the breath is, in my opinion, the most important and powerful tool that ha- that we all have, that we all have access to. And it's that it is so powerful because you bypass the ego, you bypass the mind, and you go right into the body. And that's where our emotionality lives. That's where our power lives. That's where our intuition and our wisdom lives. Sun is coming up, are you ready to go? We can take a ride, we can take it slow. Yeah. Welcome back to the show. Stevie Wright is with me on the road. Uh, so, um, I believe that self-love is the devotion to your individuality. Like, what mm. makes you you? So Stevie, to get us started, what makes you you? Who are you? How do you want to be known by the people? Oh, I love this question, especially just to start off. Hi, everybody. My name is Stevie Wright. I'm so happy to be here with you, Paul. Um, Well, I actually was doing some work around this with my life coach, and she was reflecting to me some unique parts about me that maybe I hadn't um, seen for myself. And those are how receptive I am. I think that I'm actually really, really receptive in how I take in information and how available I am. And I also live my life from a place of joy. Um, And I really like life. I really love to have fun. And I try to have every day sprinkled with at least a little bit of joy, even if it's a shitty day. How do you do that? I'm really silly. I'm really silly with my partner, Patrick. I, you know, with the depth of work I do with my, my clients, it's really intimate and, and really um, deep. But at the same time, we have so much play. I love to play. I love to play with my puppy. I just really like to play. I like to enjoy my life. So I do the things that I really like. Mm, you do the things you really like. You know, I, th- I think that a lot of people don't know what they really like. Oh, yeah. How did they you discover? Sp- How did I discover? I think because I have, I I am very animated in my life and I'm very expressive. The things I like have always been very clear to me. I love to fucking sing. I love to be with my, my partner. I love to find new quirky coffee shops. I love to journal. I'm not exactly sure how to answer that because I feel like I've been really connected to what I love. I mean, I guess my answer would be paying attention to what sparks joy and what paying attention to what you know ruffles your feathers and gets you excited Mm. why do you think so many people don't pay attention i haven't experienced that i actually feel like people really do like to do what they love Mm. i think maybe if they if people aren't connected to it or if they haven't taken the time to get to know it it might just be you know a worth issue like do i deserve to feel good do i deserve to have joy um What I've seen that people really want to move toward health and move toward healing and move toward wholeness. I'm so excited to hear that you don't run into that because I see that a lot and it's very heartbreaking for me. Yeah. It's not that I don't ever see it. Sometimes, you know, in the breath channel, I'll get questions during, you know, I do a weekly Q&A and sometimes um, I get questions that hint at that. But I just, I feel like people really want to feel good Mm -hmm. and if they subconsciously don't want to feel good it's because they weren't allowed to feel good and so they don't know that they're allowed to feel good and so feeling bad feels good for anyone who doesn't know what breathwork is it's an ancient ancient healing modality it's not new it's been used in the east for a thousand years but it is just conscious continual breathing and there's different types and different patterns but it's just bringing awareness and consciousness to your breath Mm -hmm. and the breath is in my opinion the most important and powerful tool that that we all have that we all have access to and it's that it is so powerful because you bypass the ego, you bypass the mind, and you go right into the body. And that's where our emotionality lives. That's where our power lives. That's where our intuition and our wisdom lives. With the Breath Channel, I created it a year ago, and we have just under 600 members, and it is full of tons and tons of easy, effective, powerful, 
breathwork practices, meditations, embodiment practices, mm. um, guest speakers, there's live workshops. I mean, it is incredible. And you know, for the first 10 months, nine, 10 months of the channel, I charged 20 bucks a month, which felt really good to me. I felt really good about that, but I was still getting emails, you know, saying, or, or people DM me saying, I love the channel so much. I, 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 I don't want to cancel my membership, but I just have to cut costs at this time. Or, you know, I'm, I'm paying off a credit card and I will be back later. And I didn't, I didn't, that didn't feel right to me. I wanted to live in a world where everyone got what they needed, whether they could pay $0 a month or a zillion dollars a month, it didn't matter. And so just a couple months ago, I made the whole channel, channel donation based. And how has that been working out for you? It's been really cool because here's, and this is what I, when I, when I, um, vision this and I really felt into what this could be, what I saw is what's been happening. What I saw was for those who can't pay and for those who really need to join at zero dollars, you are welcome here. You can get everything. There's no limited access. You get everything for free. It's really um, exciting to witness how it's working for you because it has not worked like that for me in the past. So um, I, I just am constantly amazed by your ability to call in whatever you want, mm -hmm. just like with ease. And I'm sure it might have not always been like no, that. No, it wasn't. Can you share? Yes, I can absolutely share. I was actually doing some journaling about this because I think one thing that I often get kind of I forget to celebrate myself. I forget to remember where I've come and I forget to remember what it was like, you know, um, and before and uh, really celebrate my the big wins and the small wins. And I was just reflecting on the last year or so, the last year and a half. And I used to have so much resistance, 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 resistance. And it showed up in a million ways. It showed up in my relationship. I wouldn't surrender. I wouldn't trust. I wouldn't let him lead. I wouldn't, you know, like really soften. I wouldn't trust that his, like his, his process is perfect. And even if he doesn't go to read all the books and go to all the workshops, his profit process is still perfect. It showed up in my work, the things that I didn't want to touch, the thing, the feelings I didn't want to feel. It showed up in my coaching. It showed up if I had an agenda for the client and I was, you know, we can have, of course, have a hold a vision for the client of where, what we see for them and holding them in their highest. But if I, I would have an agenda of like, I need you to like get here because then that is confirmation that I'm a good coach. And that's resistance. It's time for our first road trip game. Okay, you're, good. You're gonna love this. And okay, I've, great. I've been seriously waiting forever to play this game. We're gonna play the songwriting game too. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous about this. Okay, great. So <laughs> this um, is totally an edge for me, but this is good. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So um, basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna write a song together. Mm -hmm. um, it can be about whatever we want it to be about, mm -hmm. and you will, uh, whoever you want to start can start, and mm -hmm. um, I'll let you decide that. You can also decide what what the song is about. I think it should be about resistance but we, it doesn't have to be about that. Okay. Um, and you'll just sing until you feel done singing and then I'll pick it up and then we'll go. And um, real brownie points to us if there's some semblance of a melody and chorus. <laughs> but like, I've only had that happen maybe once. Really? Yeah. Oh my oh, God. It was, it was like a top 100 hit too. Like, Whoa! Was, not really, but I mean, I listened to it a lot because it's <laughs> so, so good. But it was like a profesh. Okay, let's so, see. Um, what are we going to sing about? Everything around me feels like a fight. And every time I look around, I want to cry. Don't know what to do, and baby, I really care. And sometimes I wonder, God, are you there? Oh, shit! <laughs> Cause baby, it's hard to be me sometimes. It's hard to be me. It's hard to be me sometimes. But I know that I there's got something on the other, other side. side. Ooh, there's something on the other side. Okay, so. That was really fun. That was fun. What are you growing through now? Because 
on the outside to me, like you, you just are so accomplished. You're so effortless. Like, I think that Stevie Wright is effortless. So like, what are, what, what are you growing through? Like, come on, humanize yourself. Oh, I'm listen, I am going through some serious like shadow work right now. Mm -hmm. It is, I have, I thank you for, you know, saying that I, I do feel like I have a lot of ease in my life and Right now I'm touching layers of um, anger that I have not touched before mm -hmm. and it's really uncomfortable and I'm going through a lot, a lot, a lot of grief. Um, I feel like an old part of me is dying. This part of me that um, say a deeper layer of trust and a deeper layer of surrender. <laughs> okay. So I just have a couple more questions for you. <laughs> okay. Um, what does self love mean to you? I think it's a commitment to coming back to your soul and it's a commitment to keep returning to the new story and keep unconditionally welcoming all parts of you. Self-love is a commitment to unconditionally welcome every part of you the parts that you think are not allowed, the parts of you think, the parts of you that you think are shameful, the parts of you that you think I can't be this big, the parts of you that think if I, if this part of me was known, love would for sure go away. Mm -hmm. It's a commitment to welcome all the parts mm. and say yes be an unconditional yes to all the parts and all the feelings okay so final road trip game okay. we're gonna play fuck Mary kill okay um but not with humans because we don't need a pr scandal on the road to self-love oh um, dang it i know okay. i know but it was just gonna, if it was humans it'd be fuck Mary kill paul fishman paul fishman paul fishman <laughs> um, <laughs> um okay. so fuck Mary kill and i love to make this really challenging for my guests um psychedelics uh somatic healing Ooh. and breath work you know what easy oh yeah damn sorry it. <laughs> damn it. fuck psychedelics marry somatics believe it or not kill breath work and here's why even though i'm a breath work facilitator <laughs> because I'm, I'm kind of cheating but it's fine here we are um because breath work is a huge part of somatics and so if mm. i'm doing if i marry somatics i'm gonna be doing a lot of breathing so i messed up yeah you messed up oh uh, uh, well listen <laughs> at least you weren't just like Wait, okay, I'm gonna get married, but then I'm gonna divorce. No, no, I was no. Like, there, no. No, I, I stick with my commitments. Okay, great, <laughs> perfect, phenomenal. Okay, thank you for that. Stevie, this has been a joy and a pleasure. This has um, been so fun. Where can everyone find you and just tell them all the things? Thank you. Uh, you can find me on Instagram, Stevie L. Wright underscore. The Breath Channel is open and welcomes you. Again, if you can pay zero or a zillion or anywhere in between, you're so welcome here. Um, I have an embodied, uh, a group program called the Embodied Woman. We just launched our second round and the third round is starting in February. So I'm not sure when this is going live, but not starting till February, but that is my four month group program for women centered all around somatic healing and somatic transformation. Cause I really believe the body is the subconscious. And when you do the work to heal the body, the rest of your world changes. And I'm actually uh, opening a year long one on one mentorship program. So I have two spots available for that starting late September. Um, if you want to know about any of those offerings, you can DM me. But she won't be waiting by her DMs expecting that's you to right DM. because i'm a non-resistant biatch amen <laughs> well thank you so much for joining us on the road this is so magical, this is magical. Well, we're gonna have all the things linked below the breath channel stevie's instagram everything and remember you are worth it you deserve it and you are not alone do it again you are not alone again. and you, you are, are not, not alone, alone. Whoa. <laughs> that was rough for me <laughs> holding that. We'll see you next time. Love you guys.